Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new week here on Body Bags. I'm the Tuesday Reviewer, the Retro Slasher, and boy, do I got a film for to review for you guys today. Uh, yeah, this is a film that I always wanted to check out ever since uh, somebody showed me the trailer to it. I pre-ordered it right away. Uh, it arrived. I watched it today. I got it, and I hadn't rewatched it up until last night, so I figured... Um, this is a film that I'm going to talk about because nobody else has reviewed it yet. I'm not even sure if anybody else actually got a copy of this film yet. Um, it, it is a little bit pricey. It's 20 bucks. It's not that pricey, but it's a burn-on-demand Blu-ray uh, put out by Arsploitation, which is their newest release to my knowledge. And uh, the film in question, of course, is Bunny the Killer Thing. Uh, yeah, so Bunny the Killer Thing. Uh, as we always do first, let's hop into the synopsis. And like I usually do, I read the one off the back cheating or not whatever uh so here we go a group of seven finished young adults are heading to have a fun weekend at a cabin in the dark woods of finland by chance three four men end up at the same cabin the men seem to be hiding a secret the party at the weekend becomes a game of life and death when suddenly a weird creature attacks from the forest to terrorize the people the creature is half human half rabbit and it's after anything that resembles female genitals <laughs> the creature is the bunny killer thing uh yes yeah, so the bunny killer thing is a film based off a short film from finland i believe it was upload a uh, film that was uploaded to youtube and that's how it kind of got popular and they just made a feature film out of it uh but yeah i haven't checked out the, sh the short film it does come on this blu-ray as a special feature so if that's something you're interested in checking out i'll get around to it eventually but uh, yeah, so let's hop into uh, some thoughts on Bunny the Killer Thing. Uh, so the first thing about this movie is really, really not meant to be taken serious. If you're looking for a serious horror film, this is definitely not for you. This is way, way definitely a, more of a comedy than a horror film. Uh, it's a comedy horror film uh, more than a horror comedy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I really don't mind that aspect. I enjoy a comedy here and there with some horror, horror elements to it. Uh, so first thing about this film... Uh, is the way it's shot. It is shot beautifully. I always tend to bring up the cinematography first in my reviews uh, because it's something I like to notice in films, how, how well it's shot. It's not shot with a shitty camera or anything like that. It looks pretty amazing, man. Uh, it's a well, uh, beautiful uh, shot film. Uh, the acting in this is, is fantastic. Even though half the film is spoken in Finnish and you have to read subtitles, uh, and some, some of the characters actually do speak uh, uh, English. I believe they are they might be British or Irish or something, uh, but they do speak English and uh, Finnish, if that's what they speak in Finland. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, reading up about on this film when it was first released on Facebook and whatnot, people seem to have a problem with the subtitles in this film. They they didn't like the fact that uh, only certain parts were uh, subtitled or that if that was the case. No, no actually the whole, I believe it's uh, all... If I remember correctly, I just watched it last night. Yeah, it's all in subtitle, even the English. I, that doesn't really matter to me. It's just a thing on the screen, to be quite honest with you. Uh, but the funny part about the subtitles actually plays into the comedy, in my opinion. Uh, it's because some of the descriptions and whatnot for what's going on in the film are absolutely hairy, uh, hilarious. Uh, so I don't have a problem with the subtitles. Uh, it doesn't bother me. Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely well acted uh, even though they some characters do speak another language and i don't naturally understand them but just based on their reactions to certain things in the film i i believe them 100 percent uh yeah so uh as uh another thing to mention about this film is the effects the effects are pretty amazing uh, it's pretty bloody and gory to be quite honest with you uh the bunny itself it's, it's a pretty much a dude in a like a bunny suit for the most part but he looks actually pretty awesome because he has like this strange mutated face uh, I think he's a badass looking character. It's not really corny or cheesy too much. It, it's kind of meant to be goofy, but he looks pretty legit, man. Uh, he's not bad looking. Here I am judging a bunny. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, the music in this film is actually pretty well too. Uh, not like a big, big thing in, of the music in this film, but it's it's got its moments. Uh, negative things about this film, there really isn't too many negative things I can think about it. The only thing I kind of wish... Uh, as a personal gripe, I kind of wish it was a little longer because I, I definitely, definitely wished it, it was a little bit more minutes to it because I was enjoying the hell out of this film. Uh, another positive I meant to mention is uh, the the comedy in this film. It, it's well executed. Uh, you know, sometimes where horror comedies or comedies where horror elements can be really uh, 
stupid and lame. I, actually, this movie's pretty funny, to be quite honest with you. I found myself laughing quite a bit. I almost pissed my pants once or twice <laughs> watching this. That's how funny it is. Uh, yeah, so if you definitely like comedies and with horror elements to it, this film might be for you. Uh, so, yeah, I highly, highly recommend you guys check out the Bunny Killer thing. I know you might have your thing about buying Blu-ray DVRs or whatever they're called, Blu-ray R's, um, burned Blu-rays. But the film's definitely worth it because it's a blast. I had a great time with it. Uh, it's it's seriously one of the funniest films I've seen in recent memory. Uh, so for that, I'm going to give it a definitely a good rating. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Highly recommend The Bunny Killer. Hopefully something like this spawns a sequel because the ending was fantastic. Not to spoil anything, but it's great, man. Definitely, definitely check out Bunny the Killer if you haven't yet. And that's been my review this week, week 142, I think. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I'm bad at this, but... I will see you guys next week with a brand new review. Until next Tuesday, later guys.